Hey everyone, do you find yourselves practicing social distancing or are you home more with the kiddos? I know finding educational and entertaining activities can be interesting. It was a few years ago that we discovered using painter's tape can create loads of fun and lots of different activities to keep them engaged at home and indoors. So let's talk through the top 20 ways to keep kids busy using painter's tape so that parents can be productive. So first of all, thank you to everybody out there who is watching these videos. I appreciate it as I get this YouTube channel rolling and it definitely means a lot when you click subscribe. And so if you are a parent right now or maybe an aunt or an uncle or a grandparent, hit the like button and it just helps us to support each other and I sure appreciate it. So painter's tape, loads of ideas here and we're going to talk about four different categories. So we'll talk through active games, like things that are going to get kids up and moving and running around. Secondly, educational activities, like ways to infuse teaching learning in a fun way. Also crafts and creations. So things that we can build or be artsy crafty with using the painter's tape. And then finally, we'll share some miscellaneous ideas, just a little bit of odds and ends, example ways to keep kids engaged with this painter's tape. So let's get started. So parents of young kiddos, we might have the best luck using painter's tape to create these activities and then having kids complete it. And if you're an older kid watching this or if you're a parent of older kids, then they might be able to create these activities completely on their own and have fun doing it. But either way, whether you have teenagers or toddlers in your house, I'm sure you can pick up a, a fun activity to try indoors using painter's tape. So our first category, active games, Oftentimes kids have energy to burn, right? And especially if they're cooped up indoors. So here are some ways to use this tape to get them moving and burn some energy off. So idea number one, create a spider web or laser beam. You can string this across hallways or through a, or across a doorway and have kids go back and forth. We can vary the height and the size of the gaps to create this to be more and more challenging. Secondly, use painter's tape for hopscotch. Any age can have a little fun with this, create some movement, map out the hopscotch course, then jump through it. And you can jump through on one foot, two feet backwards, lots of different ways, play some music and make hopscotch a really engaging, fun activity. Third way to get the movie moving is simply put out some lines and then have them jump from each line using different strategies like one foot or backwards or they can also see how far they can stretch or you can use like different um, think of like ladders and PE or a sporting event you can create your own ladder system in the house using painter's tape all right number four create an obstacle course now these could be as simple or elaborate as we wish and we can use tape to signify a starting point, an end point, and different directions to move ideas and have kids go all through the house. Now you could spend as much time setting this up as you wish and taking it down. So kids would have a lot of fun creating this and completing the obstacle course. Of course, it can be a lot of fun for parents and adults to participate in a good old fashioned obstacle course challenge as well. So we could also use a Swiffer or good old fashioned broom to create shuffleboard or a four square game to play too. Lots of ideas here. All right, let's talk about some educational ideas to use the painter's tape for. With kids home more, we might be wanting to be creative or resourceful with the things we have to create some educational activities. So whether you have a preschooler like we do at home or older kids or even teenagers, we can adapt these activities to fit their content or curriculum um, and make some fun learning activities. Put some painter's tape on teddy bears or dolls or action figures or some blocks, toys that we and our kids enjoy playing with, and then use them to create words or sound out the letter. So whatever age our kids at, use some like everyday items and just cover them with painter's tape. Number seven, and this is a fun one of course too, is to create a whole city or a lot of roads using the painter's tape and then label cars or trucks and drive your vehicle to different spots. 
But number eight, this is a fun activity for preschoolers that also gets them moving, and that is to have them tape off letters all over the house and on the floor, and then we can shout out letters, and then they have to, as quickly as they can, find the letter and stand on it. And we can modify this with saying the sound of a letter, and then they find the letter that is associated with that sound, or numbers spread out and then have them practice math or multiplication problem and then they stand on the number that corresponds to the right answer. So number nine, put a word or a review term on the back of their shirt on the painter's tape and then have them ask questions to guess what it is. You could modify this with pictures for younger kids and have a lot of fun playing this guessing game. So we have a lot of ideas here to share. So either grab a pen and jot some ideas down that are standing out, or when you're finished with this, have your kiddos watch this video so then they can be creative and get some ideas to stay engaged with the painter's tape. All right, let's go on to the next category of items, which are crafts and creations. Now, I am not a very artsy crafty person, but I found some of these ideas to be simple and still fun for moms, dads, and the kiddos. So number 10, I've seen quite a few families in our area doing this lately and we tried it out as well and had so much fun. So we taped off a window and then jet painted the window with some washable paint. Now I went ahead and watered down the paint a little bit so that it will be easier to clean off and to stretch the paint a little further. We could create stained glass window, look for a church, or we created a smiley face on ours. And it turned out to be a fun artsy project. This concept of using painter's tape to create abstract lines and whatnot could be used to paint like the inside of a closet or a bedroom wall or maybe somewhere out on a shed or garage or fence or somewhere where kids might want to have a little more creative fun while painting. So number 11 is to create a marble run using painter's tape. So gather up those toilet paper tubes or some paper, some bottles, cereal boxes, whatever it might be, and tape, using the tape, create a marble run that is that goes along the wall. This is a great science infusion. So we tried this on our stairwell and it was fun to see how we could get the ball from the top to the bottom using the painter's tape and some random supplies. So obviously no one wants to be wasteful. We have found that the rolls last quite a long time and we can reuse pieces. So when you get done with one activity, you just repurpose it for another activity to make it last even longer. Down below in the description box here on YouTube, there is a link to where you can purchase this exact set where there's a lot of different colors, which makes it even more fun. Be sure to check that out and when they arrive, you can thank yourself later. So number 12, tape a piece of paper to the wall and let kids stand to practice their schoolwork or create an artsy picture. We might tape a paper inside of a paper just to be safe that nothing gets on the wall. Number 13, a cotton ball or pipe cleaner tossing game. So using the painter's tape and some packing tape turned backwards, we just created a simple target on the wall and Jet had fun tossing cotton balls. Or you could use like the little pom-pom balls thrown at it. And then even the one-year-old Gemma enjoyed taking on and off the pipe cleaners as well. Number 14 is to create a cotton ball race. Use a straw to blow a cotton ball down a painter's tape race track. All right, before we go on to the final category here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're a parent wanting to be productive, especially during this crazy time when kiddos are home, we can help keep them busy. Click subscribe and the like button. It can be your kind deed of the day. Our final category is miscellaneous ideas. So here's a few more ways to use painter's tape to keep them engaged. Number 15, create a dance contest. Perhaps you mark out spots on the floor and play the music and when they get to a certain spot then they need to do a certain dance move. We can even do a memory game where someone stands on a mark, does a dance move, goes to the next, does a new dance move, and then the next person behind them needs to repeat. Number 16 is to create a target on the floor and then roll like canned food <laughs> into it. So this is really simple but can get really competitive yes. as well. Number 17, we could practice social distancing using painter's tape. So perhaps we measure out the six foot with our kids to show them that recommendation, or we use painter's tape to create boundaries where our kids are encouraged to keep their toys in that boundary to play with or play within for a certain period of time. Of course, we're all flexible with how things really turn out, but being creative and creating some boundaries or social distancing practices with the tape might be helpful. Number 18, of course, when any of these projects are finished, we want to 
uh, dispose of the tape, but before you do, use it to pick up the crumbs around the house or dust those baseboards, have kids use it to peel lint off of shirts or whatever it could be to use that tape for all it's worth before discarding it. Number 19, create a scavenger hunt and use the tape to put the clues in very unique spots. Since it peels up really easily, we can be really creative with where and how we attach clues to different spots. And number 20, create a maze on the floor. So this could be small where we use our finger to trace the maze, or it could be very large and life-size where we walk through the maze. So there's endless ways to use painter's tape, and I would love to hear your suggestions and ideas too. So comment down below here on YouTube, what ideas are you going to try or have you done with painter's tape to keep them engaged? And if you know a parent or someone who might benefit from hearing some of these ideas, please share this video with them so all of us can help support each other during this crazy time while we wanna be productive from home. And then also check out this video, which shares more ways to keep kids engaged with ordinary items from home. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.